Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Uh, so, <clears throat> a few episodes ago, we ended up picking up the uh, quest for the Herald. Uh, here, let me put it up on the screen. A War Builder. Where we were supposed to be getting uh, 15 iron hammers and 5 iron axes. I have since mined enough iron to create uh, all of those items. Uh, I do have them in my inventory, uh, and I know that we could probably just put them in our resource storage and they would have picked them up, or I've got to go tell him to pick them up or something. But I also see that we have a quest over in um, Hornica, where the Herald is anyway. So I figured we could go and drop these things off and see what that quest is. Let's see, how do I... I don't want to follow the path, so I'm trying to shortcut it through here and I getting stuck on everything so let me head over to Hornica and get this boar that's oh there's two of them right in front of me well, apparently I'm out of breath is he gonna come and attack me come on get your stamina back alright well I'm not gonna mess with those guys screw it I want to go to Hornica and see what this is all about and get stuck on more rocks. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you folks in just a second when I reach Hornica. Alrighty folks, we're coming into Hornica here. And uh, let's see if we can find the Herald, which he should be right here in the tavern. There he is. Doing a jig. I don't see a band, buddy, but you go. You dance to your own tune. Alrighty, Odin. Uh, let's see. Here is everything. 200 Dynasty Reputation. War Builder complete. Good job. Have a seat there, buddy. I know those tools are heavy. Alrighty. Just looking around, seeing what's in here. Does she have anything good for me? I don't think I have anything to sell. Stone Axe. No, it doesn't look like I've got anything to sell. I didn't think about bringing anything. Oh, but let's see. After the update, you got a lot of stuff that you can buy now. There's more stuff at these vendors. So, uh, let's see. So, there's the apple juice, the berry juice, the berry wine. Uh, let's see. We could get that stuff. The honeycomb. You can buy the honeycomb. 19 coin for the honeycomb, but it only gives you new, two nutrition. Uh, oak beer. Okay. Six of those, of course, then you got the, we could have gotten all that stuff before, wheat beer, bottle beer, excuse me, beer bottle, uh, mead bottle, so I'm assuming it's just, yeah, it's just the bottle because there's no nutrition. Uh, let's see, salt, oh, you can buy hop now. The price is 5.7, oh, they have point prices now, okay, interesting. Salt is 15.2. Porridge, 47.5. Pottage, potage is 66.5. Interesting. So how... <laughs> if, you, if you only have one coin, how do you break that coin into tenths? <laughs> I mean, is there, is, is there, are they going to introduce other currency in the game? So like, you know, we've, you know, like, uh, quarters and dimes and nickels and pennies or something. And, uh, is, how do they break that down? That's interesting. Okay. Whatever. Wine bottles. Very good. Alrighty. Now... We have, let's go to the journal. Uh, let's see, Unigasta's further events, newcomers. We still need to get four more inhabitants, uh, and we need to talk to Elwyn um, back in Gustovia. And apparently it's getting dark. Oh, yeah, it's 1735. Uh, is there anybody here that we can try and talk to and recruit? A couple of people. Two. You? No. Edgar is not good. This gal, Dumroka, is not too bad. Uh, I do need excavation for sure. 
let's give her a little chat here. Uh, actually, let's, let's do that. Do a quick save. Now we're going to talk to her. Uh, let's see. Bring a new settlement. Hey, do you have a minute? Nice weather and hunting. Let's try nice weather because it's not storming or anything out. Plus 10. That's always good. Let's back out of that. Do an F5. And the fire just automatically came on. Be cool if that happened in our village. Uh, let's see. Do you have a minute? How's the job? Just got back from working in the field. Uh, let's see here. Let's try how's the job. A negative five. Okay. Well, I didn't like that at all. So we're going to reload and try that again. All right. Oh, they're playing something now. Look at that footwork. Man, that is some fancy footwork. All right. Don't roll Let's see. Do you have a minute? How have you been? How's the job? Let's do how have you been. Plus 10. Perfect. We got her up to 70 now. Now, the question is, do I have a place for her to go if I recruit her? Uh, let's go into management. House is four. Uh, okay, so... I think these houses are already occupied by... Oh no, there's a guy right there. Okay, so she can go into that house. And that one's got a lady in it. Okay. So, we're going to ask her to come to the settlement. And let's see. Two. Create a new settlement. Looking for good people willing to join me. There we go. Great. See you there. Thank you, Domroka. So we need to put her in with uh, the other gentleman. She says she's homeless. Assign a house. It's not going to give us a house. Can we... Wait a minute. We can't give her a house? Can I... Alright, so who is in that other house? What was that? Oh yeah, I got one food. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got that. Alright, I need to... I want to kick her out. Can I move him in with her? I don't know why I can't... What is... Leonardo? Uh, oh, Rassim. That's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I literally just... Oh man, I don't have a house built. Okay, I don't know how long we have before she is going to say, screw you, I'm out of here. So let me head back to the settlement. Oh, there's uh, there's Odin. Oh, he's out by the fire. That's kind of cool. Uh, let me head back to the settlement so we can build her a house. I thought I had a house for her to live in. Interesting. Why did it not... Can I put her in... Okay. Can I put her in with the other gal? I don't think I can. Is it this one? Yeah, Leon, Leonardo. Can I put two ladies together. Can I do that? Don't work, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's not even giving me the option to put... Yeah, see, assign a house. There is no house. So why did it even let me... Okay, so it used to say if you didn't have a house for them to live in, they would decline joining your, your settlement. Now, this has been a while. This is back during... Yeah, I think season one when I noticed that. But they used to decline going to the settlement and tell you had a place for them to live. They would tell you that in the dialogue. But now you can actually recruit them and not have a place for them to live? That... it If they took that out of the game, that doesn't make sense at all. Just for the very fact of what I've done right now is I've recruited somebody. Now I've got to rush back without getting killed, build them a hut, place to live, because I can't put them in with um, the other lady, I guess. I know during my, what was it, my season, season one, I actually had a bunch of ladies put together because I was holding off putting, you know, putting them with men 
so I didn't have I wasn't overrun by babies and then everybody was out of work so this is interesting My guy sounds like he is thoroughly out of shape. Of course, those are some of the new sounds that they've introduced into the game is him being out of breath and overheated and freezing or whatever. And I don't know whether the temperature thing is truly a th thing in the game or not yet. Um, as far as, for, well, I guess it is, but the overheating. Uh, because they have sounds for them overheating, and I know overheating wasn't a thing, but being cold was. But you had that quest early on that gave you the fur hood and the fur boots, and then that kind of took care of your freezing stuff. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I need to stand here and take a break. <laughs> Let me go get a drink of water, and then we can... Uh, I wonder if we can sleep and not lose that person. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's sleep. I guess if... Oh, man. I guess if we lose the person, we do have a quick save uh, while I was going through her dialogue uh, that we could go back to. Okay, good. We didn't lose her. What's uh, what's our happiness at? A negative five? Great. Alright, let's go grab some stuff to build a hut. Let's go get her a hut built. I'm wondering if I should probably put one down here near the barn as I run past the building here. Okay, so let's grab... Can I carry 12? Yeah, I carry 12. I'll grab some sticks. Yeah, the 108 sticks, that's fine. Let's grab some straw. I'm sure it's going to be plenty, whatever I grab. Great. Uh, do I have a hammer on me? I do not. Uh, let's grab one more log so I can craft a hammer. Craft a hammer. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Hammer. And let's go build a house. Now, do I want to build this house here? I mean, that probably would be a bad thing to have a house near the tavern for the tavern people or maybe even for the barn, maybe. Yeah, that probably wouldn't be too bad. You can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's grab our hammer. Let's place it. And do that. Nope, 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 nope. Craft. Building. Houses. Small, simple house. Let's see. Can we get it to do there? Okay. Where's the road? Where's the road? I don't know that I want it. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't like it behind that fence. About the other side of the tavern, maybe. So I got a crop right there. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be good. So let's let's come down here. Why the fence? So I can't look down and drag it closer to me. It's always gonna be that far out away from me. I think I just heard my stomach growl in the game. Alright, so... I'm not really liking this placement at all for any of this. Alright. Let's take this up here near all the other houses. I don't like how that is going to place next to any of those. I really, really wish that we could go... When you were going to build and set a house, I wish you could go into third person. So you have a better view of how the house is going to place. Let's see. Let's 
I think I'm going to place it right there. I think that'll be good. Not quite the same angle as the other houses, but none of them. I think the first two are kind of at the same angle. But I think this is going to be fine because we'll end up taking this path a little farther that way. They'll have a little bit of a front yard, so that'll be good. So let me get this house built for them before they decide to skip town. <laughs> And I've got to remember to get, uh, I need two gentlemen now, because this is going to be the second lady that has a home by herself. And I don't have, I, I think I've only got two men in the village other than myself. And I still haven't started working on a wife. Alright, I got the nine logs. Let's go back and finish this house. What is, what is that? There's a new icon down there by the hunger and stuff. Interesting. What is that? Oh, is that exhaust or overheating? Oh, temperature. Man, it took a long time for that to pop up. If the temperature is too high or too low, it will make you lose life parameters. You need to wear weather appropriate clothes if you want to avoid it. You can also take shelter in your home or at the campfire if you are too cold. Holding out a torch also increases your temperature. Okie dokie. So apparently that one that was just popped up, it was like red with a multiple circle in the middle or something, is for overheating. So apparently I was overheating. Of course, there's a good chance of that, for sure, because I think I'm wearing my fur attire. All right, so there's the house for that lady. Uh, let's go back into management. Let's get this gal. Oh my gosh, she's a negative 14. Let's get her a house. Assign a house. Yes, that house is perfect. Now, we need to assign her a workplace. Uh, do we have a workplace for her to go to yet? Uh, farming. Okay, well, we can take her... Let's see, this is the woodshed. We only have one woodshed. Yeah, see that in the last episode I talked about uh, the, the workshop. So the old workshop now is considered the Smithy 1. And then my Smithy 1 is now the Smithy 2. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to put her in the barn for now. Uh, because I need to build another... Uh, or I need to build an excavation shed so we can actually start gathering stone and clay. But we'll do... Oh, they changed that crop worker. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything for her. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's go back into the barn itself. Let's go houses. Was this crafting? No. Crops. Barn. I want to see if she will make fertilizer. Okay, there's two manure. 10 rot. Let's put her on making fertilizer. She'll do two fertilizer an hour. Great. So we'll put her on that for right now. <clears throat> so that way she's got a job. And apparently I need to eat because I'm tired of hearing that thing grumbling in my ear. That is... I have to say that's truly annoying. As often as it does it. Um... Let me get some food. Let's see, it's 62 for the potage. It's 62 for the stew. Okay. We'll grab this potage. Uh, I don't plan on making any more potage uh, because you actually get more nutrition out of the roasted meat and cabbage rather than just using the cabbage and the meat to make the potage. You actually end up getting more if you don't make the potage. So I think the potage value, nutrition value, in my mind, is off a little bit. Um, so let me grab some potage. Do that. And we're gonna do this, and we're going to eat. So my guy will stop grumbling. Uh, let's see, what is this here? I wish when I hovered over that, so this negative 20... So I'm assuming this is heat, 
and this is cold. So I need to... Where's my inventory? What am I wearing? Where's my character here? Yeah, see I'm wearing the fur boots and the fur hat. So, let me go back over here so I don't overheat. Because apparently that is a thing now. We'll do that and do that. We'll do that. And we'll do that. So now, if I open my inventory, so we're 15 and 15. Okay, so we're not freezing or overheating, so that's good. Alrighty, now I am stinky. I'm a, This is drunk, I'm assuming, and of course then poison is called a crossbone. Alrighty, good. Let me put... I want to put this hammer over here. in this chest that way there's a hammer no matter where I'm at and we need to head off to Gustovia did I oh man I completely flubbed up because I wanted to do I wanted to see what that quest was while we were there but talking to that gal screwed me up uh, but anyway let's head to Gustovia let's talk to Elwyn and let's see about knocking that out so I'll see you folks in just a moment Alrighty, folks, we are coming into Gustovia. Let's go in here. Let's mark Elwyn's story. That way it's up on our screen. Uh, that way we can find him a little bit easier. <clears throat> Looks like he's going to be out here in the field. While we're here, I also need to remember to pick up some uh, fertilizer, too, because I don't think we're going to have enough fertilizer. Where on earth is he at? Oh, he must be at this upper field. There he is. Elwyn! Buddy, how you been? Alrighty, so Elwyn wants us to build an archery target. So we need to get him a wooden hammer and five logs. So let's, uh, where's my, there it is. So we'll go over here and just chop down a tree real quick and get him what he needs. Or actually, we'll probably need to cut down a couple of trees. Alrighty, we got him his logs and a hammer. So let's go back and talk to him again. Alrighty, Owen, we got your stuff. Here you go. What's next? Now, no good place? Follow me. Great. We're going to follow Elwin. Alrighty, talk to Elwin. Here we go, buddy. This must be the location you wanted. What a good place. What's next? Uh, next with practice shooting. Uh, if you have time, you can show me how you do it. You are definitely better at it. End of dialogue. Okay. Just like that, he threw that out of his pocket and set it up over there without me even seeing. Alrighty, so now let's talk to Elwin one more time. Already, my apprentice, watch and learn. Uh, I think 20 meters from the target is enough. My master. Fine. Okay, so we've got to step back. And we've got to get a score of 20 on the target. Of course, we're farther back than 20 meters. But let's see if we can hit the target. Oh my god, what the heck is going on with that reticle? What? Alright, let's try that again. Oh, what the frick? Okay, so apparently when you draw the bow back, now it wavers quite a bit. You can't just... <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. All right, so let's try this again. Twenty-seven percent accuracy. Okay, so we don't gain stamina when we have it in this position. All right, so let's try that. Seventy-four. We got the. Oh yeah, score twenty-two. Okay, well good. We got that. Let's get our arrows back. There we go. Let's talk to Elwyn since we got that. Uh, and that's how it's done. 
If only you were as modest as you are accurate. I can't be both. There's a lot to learn ahead. There is a lot of learning ahead of me, and sometime after I practice more, we will organize an archery tournament. Uh, deal. Until next time, then. There we go. Alrighty, next season for Elwyn's story. I clearly need to practice with the bow because you can't. That man. That I wonder if the crossbow does that wavering as well. Uh, because that's the first time I've noticed the wavering in the game. So when you're pulling this back, see how it bobs up and down and back and forth? And I'm assuming uh, the more tired you get, the more it bobs. Let's keep holding it. Yeah, look at that, how much it's just moving. I'm not moving that. Look at that. I mean, it's like crazy. Holy cow. But anyway, uh, we got Elwyn story taken care of for right now, so we've got to wait until next season. Uh, let's see, we got Unigos's further events, and we still need three more inhabitants. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I am going to call this an episode, but I will look after we cut the video and see if there's anybody here I can recruit. And we will see you folks in the next one. Uh, please make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please consider doing so as well. And remember, we also have the Twitter page and we've got the Facebook page. Both of those, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's a link right in the, on the top of the banner on the bottom right hand side of the banner on my YouTube page. Also, uh, the Discord server, please uh, go over and join the community and leave your comments and questions and stuff about the games that I'm currently uploading for. Uh, and that way you can share some stuff with the community and the community can share with you. But anyway, you folks take care and happy hunting.